Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. One of the things many farmers do to get a better handle on their overall crop fertility program is to use plant tissue analysis. So today during our Farm Basics time, we're going to talk about what exactly is plant tissue analysis and how do you do it. Well, Brian, we soil test every year and it's great to see what's in the soil. But we kind of have to wait until harvest to see, all right, I think I addressed everything that the soil test called for, but is it really going to make a difference for yield? So along the way, we've got other tools, one of them being plant tissue analysis, to really see, all right, I did all these things to the soil. Is it getting into my plant? All right, but here's the whole thing. What we do is we pull leaves, and in some cases, maybe even the whole plant if it's real small. But anyway, we send in that plant tissue to a lab, and the lab tells us, all right, how many nutrients are in that plant? And that's great to know, but it's not predictive at all. In other words, it's only telling you what's there today. Doesn't tell you what happened yesterday. Doesn't tell you what's gonna happen tomorrow. It's only telling you today. So it is good to get a snapshot of what's happened out in the field. But one of the things we tell farmers all the time is don't expect that that's gonna give you all the answers you need for the season. If you really want more answers, you have to continue going out there pretty much every week sampling your field and finding out, all right, how is my level now? How is it now? How is it now? And that's basically your, Darren often calls it the report card for us on how we did on the fertility program because you can see all through the season if you continue testing. Now, if you have very light soil and you've got irrigation, you may be able to make some foliar fertilizer adjustments. And if you see you're short in something, drive enough nutrition into the plant to fix it. But if you're in well, foliar or in the soil, and yeah. if you're dry land without uh, irrigation and you're in heavy soils, it's a lot harder to do that. So for our farm, we look at this as, OK, let's see how we did and we'll make the change for next year. So we've got time to get out there and address it with the soil. But you certainly can use this to drive in season decisions with foliar fertilizer and how you're going to treat that plant. Now, let's say you just have a garden at home. Could you do this with the garden? Absolutely. It doesn't cost very much money. You're talking probably 15 to $20 per sample. You just pull a few leaves, send it in for analysis. Our advice to you is contact the lab that you're gonna send these samples into and make sure that you're pulling the right leaves for analysis and then also send them in in a paper bag. Don't send them in in a plastic bag because by the time it arrives at the lab, it'll probably be manure. You have to have a paper bag so it's breathable, so you don't have complete decomposition of the plant material. Yeah, a couple other things when you're pulling those plant tissue samples, it really does matter which leaves that you're pulling, and it also matters a little bit the time of day. So I would recommend staying consistent. And if you're saying, oh, the best time for me to pull them is eight in the morning, great. Pull them at eight in the morning every time. Or if you say, hey, the best time for me to pull them is eight o'clock at night, that's fine too. Just do it the same time of day. That way you won't have that factor of sunlight and time of day really changing what's going on in that plant tissue. All right, last thing I'll leave you with. No one knows exactly what should I have for each nutrient level at every individual day during the season in order to maximize yield, to truly maximize yield. But over time, you can figure that out a little bit on your own. And there certainly are some general guidelines out there. Plant tissue analysis, I often call the report card of the farmer because you can see what's in that plant as far as nutrients and compare that to what your fertility program has been. Field scouting is really the report card for your weed control program. And if you see this week's weed of the week out in your field, you're going to want to address it. We'll talk about how coming up later in the show. <music> 